Action? Mm -hmm. Good to go? All right, guys. Today we're going to talk about, I get a lot of questions on this, don't we, Hunter? About the rods and reels that I use. Mm -hmm. We do get a lot of questions on this for some reason. Everybody wants to know what rods I use, which they should know, but I'm going to kind of give you all a detailed breakdown of what I use each rod for exactly and kind of the ones that I use the most. So I've got them laying right here, five or six of the most important ones that are in my arsenal. Before we get started, Sunline. If y'all have not seen this already, Sunline made a commemorative spool for me for winning Angler of the Year. There's still some of these available. Basically what this is, a signature box of line with 20 pound shooter inside. See a little spool in there. It's a standard size of 20 pound shooter and then a little card that says they're honoring me and my AOI accomplishment. So once again, shout out to Sunline for making that. I mean, really blown away. People have loved this thing. I mean, all my family wanted one, everybody that I know pretty much wanted one, but uh, Really cool, and I appreciate them, and shout out to them because it's awesome to work for a company and with a company that will, you know, celebrate you like that and give you, you know, a, something to remember and kind of a keepsake. So I'll have my box of line beside my AOI trophy probably forever because it means a ton to me if they did this. So without further ado, y'all know that I use 13 fishing rods and 13 fishing reels. So we're gonna kind of walk through the ones that I use that some get kind of overlooked <clears throat> but for the most part, these are the ones that I use for the scenarios and situations that I'm going to list in the video. But basically, the Concept C reel is the number one that I use. I use 8.3 to 1 gear ratios for everything. Every bait that I work with the rod, I use 8.3 to 1. A lot of baits that I work with the reel, like, like your winding baits, I go with a 6.8 or a 7.5. Like buzz baits, 7.5. When it's hot, a lot of my reaction baits, I go to a 7.5 whenever it's cold. I go to a 6.8 for vibrating jigs, chatter baits, crank baits, you know, a lot of stuff like that. I go to the to the 6.8. And then the Concept A is just a workhorse reel for punching, big baits, big swim baits, stuff like that. I use the Concept A because it's just a <clears throat> kind of a more rigid, heavy duty reel. The Concept C is super light, high speed bearings, cash really, really well. I like to use it for the most stuff, but when I really need to winch on one, the Concept A it just gives me confidence. It's a little bit heavier duty reel. So <clears throat> that's the reels that I use and why I use them. Let's kind of get into the rods. So don't know which one I'm gonna grab first, but let's see what we got right here. This is the, this is obviously an Envy, seven foot three medium heavy. I prefer the 13 Fishing Envy Black Series for my seven foot three medium heavies. And the main reason for that is this rod is super balanced and super light, but has a really good bend to it. It's, a, it's, it's labeled an extra fast, but it's closer to a fast action rod. And I like it a lot for my, you know, three eighths ounce, half ounce jigs, flipping a worm, throwing a speed worm in Florida, all that type of stuff. I throw underspins on it, flashy swimmers on it. You know, a, a lot of those types of baits I throw on this rod. So this is just my kind of standard go-to all around rod is a seven foot three medium heavy Envy. Now, there is a there's a seven foot three medium heavy muse rod. Actually, I'm gonna put the ones that I've already talked about on this side. There's a seven foot three medium heavy muse rod, and can I do a little scan over? No, don't show that. Don't that's show some, that's mayhem in the corner of all my rods that I'm going through and rigging up for this year. You gonna show it? Lord have mercy. I've got a lot of rods. I have a bunch of rods. So, anyways, those are obviously a bunch of rods. A lot of them I'm going to be using, a lot of extras I carry with me, you know, just in case there's a mishap, but there's a seven foot three medium heavy Muse that I like. It's got more power than the Envy. It's got a faster tip. It's a little bit heavier of a rod, so I don't like it for all around quite as much, but as far as power, I like it a ton for my, you know, horny toad baits. I throw on top, I need a heavy hook set. You know, if I'm throwing a little bit smaller frog, like a regular pointed nose frog, the smaller, I like it. I like it for that, like a like a junior size, 50 size frog. I like that 73 medium heavy for that. But for the most part, I use the Envy for most of the stuff. Now, what do we got right here? Okay, this is a rod that people sleep on. This right here is the 13 Fishing Fate Black Cranking Rod. I use this rod so much. I mean, this I use it for all my crankbaits. Like to me, this is one of the perfect blends for. This is, this is my DT6 rod right here. This is a seven foot three cranking. I throw a DT6 on this. I throw a DT8 on it, throw a DT10 on it. I throw, you know, a lot of baits in that kind of that mid depth range that I really want to throw a long ways. I throw in that seven foot three fake black. Now, I don't have one laying here, but the seven foot fake black 
I don't have one laying here because they're all in the boat. That's what I throw the, you know, Shad Wrap Elite on. That's what I throw the OG four, Tiny 4 on, the OG 7 on. I throw the DT4. I throw a lot of those smaller baits on that seven footer just because it's a little bit easier to cast and I'm not trying to bomb those baits quite as far. But the DT6, that goes on the seven foot three. Those are my two cranking rods that I use the most. And I mean, super inexpensive rods and phenomenal cranking rods. As soon as I got those, I got some of the Envy cranking rods and I'm like, man, they're really good for square bills, but it's not perfect for these tiny treble hook baits. So I was talking to Ricky at 13 and he was like, man, you should try this rod. Some people really like it, some people really hate it. I got it and I absolutely love that rod for those small little treble hook baits. All right, let's jump on to what is becoming quickly the staple in the Elite Series is the, the spinning poles. This right here is a seven foot four, medium light. I use these a lot for, you know, kind of throwing a spy bait, throwing, you know, like an open hook drop shot. I throw the Gamakatsu G Finesse drop shot hook on like a quarter ounce weight on this six or seven pound line. If I needed to go down that far, I throw it on a seven foot four, medium light. And it helps casting, but also you can load that, load up on them, on them small mouth and not worry about losing them because the rod bends so much. You set the hook kind of hard at first, back off your drag and just fight them. This rod has such a good bend to it. The 7.4 medium light. That's one that I use a ton whenever we go up north and also use it for hair jigs and stuff like that. Now, my more all around spinning rod, we're gonna jump right into that, is the 13 Fishing Envy 7.3 medium. These have the KR Concept SIC guides on them. These are the, the best casting guides there are. The Fuji KR concept is what you need for a spinning reel. I've watched tons and tons of video of why they perform better, and it's undoubtable. They absolutely do perform better, and I love this rod. This is my wacky rig, shaky head. That type of stuff is what I throw on this, and I throw them a lot. If I'm throwing a, a drop shot that is, you know, threaded and actually weedless throwing brush, I'm throwing this rod. Typically on this rod, I don't go lower than eight pound line because it's, it's a little bit, uh, more powerful than a 7.4. So a lot of 10 pound line on this, a lot of eight pound line on this, but for the most part, this is the spinning rod that I prefer. Seven foot three, medium, fast. I use it for a ton of stuff. If I had to pick one, I would definitely pick the 7.3 medium fast, but that 7.4 excels for that spy bait, hair jigs, open hook bait, stuff like that. But, and I like a longer rod. As y'all can tell by me talking in the videos, I don't use a lot of 6.9s, 6.10s. I use them for a jerk bait. But for the most part, I like a seven foot three to a seven foot six. And that's what we're gonna get into next, I would assume, is the, I didn't get a muse. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stand up and get a muse. But this right here is the 13 Fishing Omen Black. And this is a seven foot three medium. This is what I throw a lot of topwaters on. And this bait is very, very parabolic. I throw that, um, the smaller vibrating jigs on it, quarter ounces, stuff like that. I throw the smaller, you know, like the three alt gamakatsu screw lock swim bait hook. I throw it on this with like a swim bait. I throw a lot of baits that just need a little bit more of a forgiving rod, like a 3.8 swim baits, three inch mayor, that on a ball head. I really like it on, on, on this rod because it does give a lot. Typically that rod's gonna be my 12 to 16 pound line is what I'm gonna put on that rod typically. And then, you know, or 30 pound braid for a top water, stuff like that. So anyways, from there, well, what do we have here? We have a, okay, this is a seven foot four, medium heavy, moderate fast chatterbait rod, vibrating jig rod, whatever you wanna call it. I throw this rod a ton. I've got like six of these exact rods rigged up all the time. Anytime they're biting a vibrating jig, this rod I'm throwing it on. I know Swindle has his own, you know, vibrating jig chatterbait rod from 13 Fishing, but I like this seven foot four. It's a little bit faster action. It's, it's got a really good tip to it. It loads really, really well whenever those fish bite it, but it's got a really good tip to it so I can cast it. And I like skipping. I like skipping a vibrating jig under docks, under overhang, around, around lay downs, stuff like that. I like to skip it a ton, so I throw this rod because I can cast it a little bit better than some of the more moderate style vibrating jig rods. So without further ado, I'm gonna get up for one second and get a muse. Cause I gotta show y'all this muse. I grabbed it first thing. This is, this is the rod I've been throwing a frog on for the past like uh, six or seven months probably. This is the 13 Fishing Muse, Muse Black. And this rod is lighter than the Envy 
actually in the same exact thing. Whenever you get to the seven foot six length, the Muse just seems to be super light on the tip. And I've been using these a ton lately for flipping and for frogging and stuff like that. So my flipping rods and my frogging rods and my seven foot six medium heavies and heavy action rods are gonna be the Muse black this year. Big, big fan of these so far. A, a lot faster action rod. These rods have, they get to the backbone extremely quick. And to me, that's really important for, you know, that frogging, that flipping. I wanna know that I give those fish time to eat the bait and then I set the hook and I wanna make sure that the hook penetrates that fish's mouth and actually makes me land those bass. So seven foot six size rods are gonna be from the Muse lineup this year. Cause these just came out last year and I became a huge fan of those in, in the past like six or eight months that I've been using them a ton. So that's basically the rods that I'm gonna use. So I'll have four of those Muse seven six on the front deck. I'm gonna have two frogs and two flipping or, or a big worm on one and then a frog on one and flipping bait on one and a big jig on one like the new untamed tackle flipping jig. Same thing. These are the rods that I use and I just carry you know, I'll carry 12 or 15 of the seven foot three medium heavy Indies. And then I'll carry five or six of the seven foot three medium heavy Muse. So that's kind of what I do. I don't have one separate rod for every single technique, but I have rods that I really prefer for a certain type of technique and certain properties in that rod may want to throw it for certain techniques. So anyways, that's what I do. And that's it. Those are basically the rods that I'm going to use in the 2024 season and the reels. So y'all seen that. And if you want me to get in depth with kind of two rods, three rods, those types of things. I, I can do another video on that. It's more detailed and why I like them, but that's a general overview of the rods I'll be using for this year. So appreciate you guys watching. And if you did get a Sunline spool, I really appreciate it. If you have not and you want one, there's still some on the website. So appreciate it guys. We'll see you on the next video.